Now let's look together at the three ways we can select animal to put on the matting module. First of all, you can select animal one by one using the inventory list you have at the top. So anytime you select animal, they appear on the right side. If you don't have a lot of animal, it could be a good way to do it. But if you have a long list of animal, it's probably hard to make your selection just selecting one by one. You have some filter here that may help you to find animal. So the ID will help you to find an animal using the tattoo ID. So if I put the numeric part of the tattoo, it will show me all animals that have assigned digit that what I record here. I can also record here the, the flux letters. That could be another way to find animal. The need box will search within the riff ID. So if you are looking for a specific riff ID, you can record information here and it will show you all animals that correspond to what you record here. We have a sex filter. So the sex filter is, for example, like select male, M for male, and press enter. I will have only the male that will be displayed in that box. And I could also use the breed filter to help to find animal I'm looking for. The second place that is probably the main important and an easier way to make some matting modules is to use the ID list. To do so, you need at the beginning a list of animals, for example, in an Excel file. So you can use both tattoo ID or riff tag ID. If you use the tattoo, we need the um, flux letter, the numeric part of the tattoo, the year letter and the generation code. And if you use the national ID or the riff ID, we need the nine digits. If some digits are missing or some information are missing in the tattoo, it will not found the animal uh, into the database. So if, for example, I want to use a tattoo format, I just have to select the animal I want to put on my matting module, click right of my mouse and select copy. And then I go back on the Genovis um, module. In Idealis, I will click right of on my mouse again and click on test. So you see here, all animal have been copied. I will just clear here my two boxes. So my selection is done here. And if I click on this button here, it will just separate the male and the female. So the male already appear on that side and it may take a little bit more time for the female. And I have here the number of males selected and the number of females selected. So it's the easiest way to uh, add animal into the matting module. If in my selection I want to remove some animal, I just have to click on them to remove them. And anytime I remove, you see that the number of animals selected will just get found. Uh, if, for example, I see on the top RAM list an animal that I'm interested to buy, and I would like to know what this animal would bring to my flocks or what's at the inbreeding levels, I just need to get the complete tattoo. I want to map my U with this RAM. I can either record it in the search box here and click on Find. To search animal within the database, I don't need to have the complete tattoo because it will search all animal related with the same information as I record on the box. If you have a complete tattoo, the search will be just shorter. At the time, the box appear like this. Click on the selected animal and click on this button to make it appear on the list. I could also use this places if I have the complete tattoo to add animal that I don't own on my personal flocks, but I'm looking to buy or I would like to see what, what this animal could bring for my flocks. So by recording the information here and clicking that button, the RAM will appear here in the box. I can also clear the box and then select a management group. What it will do it if I click on this button here, it will just display me here all the U that gave birth in that specific LAM group. So depending how many animals you have in the group, it may take later or more time. So like I see on that group, I have 99 U that gave birth. If I want to go with my original selection, I just click on that button here and the U and the RAM will appear again in these box. Once I have all selected the U and the RAM I would like to map, I just go here and add the job name. 
a job name could be whatever you want by default it's your genovis number you can give it a name or just leave it like this you have to select two traits by default it's the gain index and maternal index so i'm here in a door set so i'm will be interested by the maternal higher prolificacy and another trait that may be interesting for me is the 50 day maternal weight you have different type of requests we have the basic and the optimal so the optimal i will explain you what to do with the optimal in the next video as you have the basic you don't need the max u information here so if you want to compute the inbreeding just check that box and if you want to use the national id of animal instead of the tattoo id you just have to check the box here you just need to click on submit and if you click on refresh you will see here that a new request will be added you have the job name here and what we can see for now is we have a start time but no end time so you can leave that page and go doing something else in Genovis or just close all of that and come back uh, later during the day or three days later no matter at the time the end time will appear it's would be an indication that the file is ready and you can just consult the information